Parents across the country are grappling with the idea of giving their child the Pfizer COVID vaccine. Although it has been CDC recommended for children as young as five years old, some parents still have reservations about it. So pediatrician Dr. Michael Wasserman joins us with answers to any lingering questions you may have. Thank you so much for being with us. And of course, it was thought that there could be this initial surge of kids getting the shot and then a lull. Parents who had their minds made up would get it as soon as possible and then it would taper off. What are you seeing at your um, doctor's office? I'm actually seeing just that. I mean, I've had a lot of uh, conversations and texts from parents of, of patients who wanted to get my opinion uh, last week. And I've seen a lot of those children go ahead and get their vaccines, which is great for them, great for their families and great for our community. And so why should they give it to their child? Why uh, should parents go out there and get their kids vaccinated? Well, there, I mean, there's a number of reasons. Number one, the vaccine's a, a great technology. It's a technology that was actually developed about 20 years ago and used in Asia primarily for SARS. And then a new version of coronavirus came along, the COVID-19 that we're dealing with now, and it was essentially updated in a very good scientific fashion. And so that's the vaccine that we're using. It's safe. We've done extensive trials in the Uni United States. In fact, one of my own grandchildren was involved eight months ago, and she uh, received uh, vaccines then wow. blinded so we weren't even sure what this uh, individual got and we she was unblinded last week unfortunately we learned that she actually got the, the real vaccine of course has done quite well and hasn't gotten COVID uh, throughout uh, last spring and this summer and fall uh, and it not only is the vaccine safe it really seems to give better protection than getting the disease it seems to be broader and perhaps longer lasting it's a little bit unusual in that regard but whether you've had COVID disease or not, uh, the recommendation is go ahead and get the vaccine. It's safe, it's effective. We've given over 400 million doses of COVID vaccine to uh, adults and teenagers uh, in the United States. So I strongly recommend it. And it is keeping children from getting COVID. That, yes, it's keeping them from getting COVID. It's also keeping them from passing it on to others. Uh, in, an interesting fact is we don't see a lot of deaths in children, but during the pandemic, COVID-19 has been in this age group, the five to 11 year old age group, among the top 10 causes of death. So we wanna prevent death. We wanna get kids back in school. We wanna make sure that their families aren't getting sick. We wanna make sure our community's uh, doing well. And we wanna make sure that um, there aren't new variants are, are gonna develop because of the uh, there's so much COVID disease floating around in the community. And this whole thing about lessening complications of MISC, the multi-inflammatory multi systemic disease of children, it's not a super common uh, a complication, but it is something that occurs. We do see long-term side effects uh, in, in a small number of children. And so we don't want death. We don't want uh, comp long-term complications. And we want kids back in school and doing all their normal activities a a as beforehand. Yeah, let's talk more about the side effects because some parents are like, oh, I'm going to just wait a couple of years and see how these kids do. Well, you can do that, but really what, we, what we've learned is we haven't seen a lot of side effects in, in either adults nor teenagers. And in the smaller number of children that have gotten vaccinated, they, there really have not been a lot of side effects. Sure, there's soreness, fatigue, headache, and those sort of mild symptoms can last one to three or four days, uh, but there are no vaccine side effects seen that go, that in any vaccine that we give, and we give about 15 different vaccines to kids uh, routinely for years, if not decades, that show more more than 60 days after receiving the dose. Additionally, we have a vaccine surveillance system in the United States called VAERS, V-A-E-R-S, and we've actually taken a vaccine off the market many years ago that had been fully um, uh, uh, vetted. And after it was realized that there were side effects, the vaccine was removed. So we look for side effects. People also worry about this myocarditis side effect. Sure. First of all, it's more common in uh, teenage boys, 16 and 17 year olds uh, and older. Um, it's fairly minor, uh, not that anybody wants to have inflammation of their heart, but we see inflammation of the heart in people who get COVID disease. We also see it in people who get that have nothing to do with COVID. So that's not a reason to hold off. That occurs about five out of 100,000 doses. So it's pretty uncommon. And then other side effects of, of the vaccine are really uh, uh, not, not there. There's I get asked all the time is about infertility. Uh, it really, there are no vaccines that, that are related to infertility. Uh, and I just am not concerned about that. I have six grandchildren, three boys, three girls. All of them have received the COVID vaccine. Their ages are nine to 14. Yeah, that's a pretty strong statement right there. Dr. Wasserman, as always, thank you so very much for your time and your expertise. 
My pleasure.